Illusions of Life, Unraveling the Enigma of Peter Cleese Svanita's Still Life with the Spinario. What is real and what is illusion? What is the value of human achievements and pursuits in the face of death? These are some of the questions that Peter Cleese, a prominent Dutch still life painter, poses in his 1628 masterpiece, Vanita's Still Life with the Spinario. This complex and intriguing painting is a visual meditation on the themes of art, science, and transience, using a variety of objects that convey symbolic meanings. Peter Cleese was one of the leading exponents of the Vanitas genre, a type of still life that depicts objects that remind the viewer of the fragility and futility of life. Vanitas paintings often include skulls, bones, books, clocks, candles, and musical instruments, among other things, that suggest the inevitability of death and the vanity of worldly pleasures and knowledge. Cleese was especially skilled at creating realistic and atmospheric effects with a limited palette of mostly brown gray, and green tones. He also experimented with different compositions and perspectives, often placing the objects in a corner of a room or on a table covered with a cloth. In this painting, Cleese presents a rich and varied assortment of objects that relate to art, science, and life. On a table draped with a brown cloth, he places a skull and bones, a paintbrush and a palette, a book and a cool pen, a watch and a glass, and a plaster cast of the Spinario, a famous antique sculpture of a boy removing a thorn from his foot. On the floor, he places a violin, a lute, a helmet, and a breastplate. The objects are arranged in a diagonal line that leads the eye from the lower left corner to the upper right corner, creating a sense of depth and movement. The light source comes from the left, casting shadows and highlights on the objects and the wall behind them. The painting is a visual allegory of the themes of Vanitas, or the vanity of human endeavors in the face of mortality. The skull and bones are the most obvious symbols of death, reminding the viewer of their own inevitable fate. The watch and the glass, both empty or overturned, suggest the passage of time and the fragility of life. The book and the cool pen represent the futility of human knowledge and learning, which cannot prevent death or reveal the ultimate truth. The musical instruments symbolize the transience of human pleasure and creativity, which fade away like sound. The helmet and the breastplate indicate the folly of human glory and warfare, which are useless against death. The paintbrush and the palette signify the vanity of human art, which can only imitate reality and not create it. The spinario, the most prominent object in the painting, is a double-edged symbol. On one hand, it represents the ideal of classical art and beauty, which inspired many artists and scholars. On the other hand, it represents the pain and suffering of human existence, which requires constant self-examination and removal of flaws. The painting also reflects the cultural and historical context of the 17th century, when the Netherlands experienced a period of prosperity and intellectual flourishing but also of religious and political turmoil and warfare. The painting can be seen as a critique of the materialism and hedonism of the Dutch society, as well as a warning of the fragility and uncertainty of their situation.